murder is never as simple as it should be. When I first met Peter Kent, I thought he would be the perfect accomplice. Now I know that it was a mistake trusting him. Peter and I had been seeing each other for a couple of years, and he would always listen to my complaints about my husband. I guess the real trouble started when I met him one day in his office. Charlotte, it's been a while. How's that new car working out? It's alright, but it doesn't keep my husband from driving like a maniac. Whenever he's in one of his moods, I never know what to do. I saw how banged up that last car was, but don't you worry. The one I sold you is one of a kind and brand new. It'll keep you safe, Miss St. James. Sometimes, sometimes I just wish he would learn his lesson. Sometimes I wish he would drive, get in his car, drive off, and never come back. I think he'd be better off that way. You know we shouldn't be talking like this. You're not like him. You're so much better to me. Why can't I just be with you? I should go. Wait, don't go. Bring the paperwork by my house tonight at 7 o'clock. My husband won't be home, so you can be alone. I'll be there. It was that night that Peter first came by my house. We had our first meeting. I suppose only part of me suspected what was about to happen. left the door unlocked for you. Is your husband gone? He always is. Most nights he's out gambling with his friends. He doesn't care about me. Then he's crazy, baby. You know, I've been thinking about this for a while. If my husband wasn't in the picture, we could be together. Go on. Well, he's always crashing his car, you see. And I thought maybe next time what if it wasn't an accident? You're saying we could get him to crash on purpose? I don't know a lot about cars, but you do. Are you suggesting we commit a murder, darling? It, w it would be an accident. I'm sure we would be able to pull it off. All you would have to do is, let, is tamper with the car and let it do the rest. I think you're getting the wrong idea about me, Miss St. James. I don't believe. I know exactly what I'm doing. You're the only one I want to help me. You're the only one who can. Of course I want to help you, but we can't make one single mistake. I've never made a mistake before. I know you love me. Come back tomorrow at noon, and we'll make the necessary adjustments. I'll be there. Peter came by the next day and was very solemn. He had a box of tools and said he'd tampered with the brakes. It would only take a steep hill to kill George. It would all look like an accident, but I could tell Peter was worried about getting caught. He had already started to crack. Guilt is too much. We did what we had to do, and now you can be with me, Peter. No one has a clue we're involved, but my daughter Annabelle, who is starting to ask questions. Asking questions? You can bet that if she's asking questions, a real police officer might be suspicious. Annabelle knows too much. She needs to be taken out. This has gone too far. We killed your husband so we could be together, but killing an innocent child is over the line. I never knew you were a cold-blooded killer. I'm just doing this to protect you. All I ever wanted was to be with you. You're leaving me no choice. I sit here in this room awaiting my fate. I knew that Peter wouldn't be able to handle the guilt any longer. I know he's coming to kill me. I should have known that he doesn't have the stomach for this. I guess that was my first and last mistake. You're so predictable, Peter. I'm just giving you what you deserve.